Okay, so Megan is the gift of cringe that just keeps giving. So earlier today, we saw photos of her at the airport, boarding a plane. We know they came from Backgrid. She dialed a pap. They snapped her. She was on her way to meet Harry at the Invictus Games. She took the stage at the opening ceremony and gave a speech. And I just, it is so cringy. And I have the video. I'll share it here in just a second. But before I share it, it's important to know that the Invictus Games is Prince Harry's baby. He is the founder of the Invictus Games. It has been his passion. He talks about how important it is to him. It is his baby. And if you're looking at all the stills and saying, well, if it's his baby, she's got all the mic and she's got the mic in her hand the entire time. Correct. It is his baby, his brainchild, his passion, and she is holding the mic the entire time. Okay, so the first thing I notice is she walks right onto the stage and leaves Harry behind. Just completely leaves him behind. She says we here, but then she goes on to say I, 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 like 12 times. He doesn't even know what to do here. So then he starts adjusting his pants, looking around. I mean, it's so sad. And I was so moved by everything that they do because they understand, as you do, as my husband does in creating the Invictus Games, how much the value of rehabilitation matters, not just as a solitary experience, but as a family. So I'm really, really proud to be a part of this Invictus family with all of you. I'm grateful for all of you that are here. I'm really proud. I'm really grateful. I mean, it's so, it's so nauseating. She thanks the band before even recognizing Carrie. It's fantastic. We have the best time. We're going to be cheering for you, and we can't wait to one day be able to bring our kids also so they can experience just how amazing this is. Thank you guys so much. And this jester is like, oh yeah, and Harry's here. <laughs> he literally has to grab the mic out of her hands, and now she doesn't know what to do with herself. Crosses her arms, oh, fiddle with my fingers. I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay, let's go back to this. She said, my husband is a man of little words. We don't want to say anything. Oh, how patronizing is she never gave him a chance to say anything. She held the mic the entire time and then she patronizes him for not being able to say anything. This is like looking at at a lower level. It's like someone showing up to your job, your spouse showing up to your work and accepting an award or the promotion or some recognition 
on your behalf while you're standing there, silent. And she made the speech mostly about her. I don't know, are you thinking the same thing? Do you have different thoughts? I'd like to know, please share. Last comment, I promise. This photo is her eyes being so hungry for that attention she's getting. I mean, she is just eating it up. It's, it's so gross.